In this chapter, we're going to introduce you to the concepts of data types and variables. We're going to start this lesson talking about data types, primarily why we need them, what they do, and what they are. First of all, a data type defines the proper use of an identifier or an expression. An identifier is something like a variable or another keyword or command. An expression is like an arithmetic expression, 2 plus 2. Or in the example we saw earlier with the Hello World program, the string Hello World is also an expression. So a data type determines how an identifier or an expression can be used. Data types also determine what type of data can be stored in an identifier or written in an expression. I'm going to show you some examples of that in just a moment. And then finally, data types determine which types of operations can be performed on an identifier or expression. For example, we can't add a date to a number, and we can't perform addition on a string and a date. Those are examples of operations that are not allowed because of the mixing of data types. So an example of an expression that is allowed is the expression 12 plus 2. This expression is allowed because we're taking two numeric data types, 12 and 2, and adding them together, which is allowed. On the other hand, 12 plus Mike is not allowed because it doesn't make sense to add 12 to a string. Now there is something called concatenation where you glue two strings together. What we're talking about in this expression is trying to add a number to a string and that's not allowed. Here's an example of concatenation that is allowed. Hello plus world will give you the string hello world. Here the addition sign is being used as a concatenation operator and concatenation is allowed between two strings. In fact, that's part of what it really is. Another example of an expression that would be allowed if the data types are correct is salary times tax rate. Here we have two identifiers, salary and tax rate, which are being used as variables. And as long as salary and tax rate have both been declared as variables that store numbers, then this expression is allowed. Next, we're going to talk about the types of data types that you find in C Sharp. First, you have numeric data types that store numbers such as 1000 and 3.14159. You have string or strings such as Hello World or the name Mike. Characters, which are individual letters or numbers, which could also be characters or even symbols. You'll notice that the difference between a character and a string is a character is surrounded in single quotes and a string is surrounded in double quotes. Another example of a data type are Booleans, or the Boolean data type, and that allows true or false values. So data types are very important to programming languages, and in the next lesson we're going to talk about the first of those categories of data types, the numeric data type.